Cardinals in a little bit of a slump right now. Losers of three in a row. And more importantly, two to the Cubs, who are also in second place in the division, still under 500. But you don't want to do your part to help your competition get closer to you. So the Cardinals looking to break out of their slump. Well, the first thing they need to do is score. Giving up four runs a game, not the worst thing in the world. But if you don't score, you can't win. That's rule number one in sports. You have to score to win. So, St. Louis, eh, probably be in their best interest to score a run or two. Maybe five. We'll see what they do in the finale. On the bump for the Cubbies. Hayden. Hasn't necessarily pitched great. Only one decision in seven starts. He's been pretty awful. ERA of just under five. Carp still has his hit streak going. And guess what? It keeps going a little closer to number 20. And more importantly for the Cardinals, runs in a lead. Carp with two outs, a two run home run. His eighth of the season in a big shot in the arm for the Cardinals. They needed some love on the offensive side of things. So they get a lead. Flaherty. So funny thing is his ERA is similar to Hayden's, but he's 4-1. So he's had some good starts, had some really bad starts. So the thing with him, consistency. Can they get it? Bottom of the first, Ian Happ up, 1-2 goes down looking or swinging so a K for Flaherty always happy to see him pitching well Swanson next one two count it's gonna fly out to right Carlson will make that catch the Cardinals have their first lead after the after the end of an inning so finally some production two nothing St. Louis after one unfortunately it wouldn't last long Mancini in the bottom of the second. He's going to go yard. The bullpen starting to get up for the Cubs. You know they're going to be dancing down there. Mancini six. There you go. I don't know what kind of dancing you call that, but whatever. 2-2. Two, two. Carp with a two run. Mancini with a two run. So we're back even. We're going to jump ahead to the seventh. Bullpen game for the Cubs will be coming soon. Both Hayden and Flaherty pitch well, still in at this point. O'Neal would have doubled the lead off the inning. Cardinals feeling like maybe they got something here. You can see Suzuki out and right. Didn't, doesn't take the greatest angle. He's not able to get to the ball. And that's going to be a double. Cardinals looking to make Hayden pay and also knock him out the game. Brendan Donovan with one out. Drops one in the single, or to center, sorry, the singles machine. That is Brendan Donovan, giving the Cardinals a late lead, 3-2. But finally, some production. Speaking of production, Guy goes, see that sub-2 ERA coming in to pitch the eighth inning, getting it over to Helsley. They try to get a save and get out of here. Two outs. Guy goes running into some trouble here. A walk to Barnhart, Nico, a walk to him. So guy goes, not necessarily with his best stuff in this one. And now 3-1 to Hap. Hap makes the Cardinals pay. That little pocket and right that I hate oh so much. Carlson will get there, but obviously not quick enough. Ian Hap with a two run double. So guy goes, is able to retire the first two. Just couldn't get out of the inning. Just couldn't get the ball in the strike zone. Alex will be up. Two of three in his save opportunities. Will he be able to get the sweep of the Cardinals? First up, Carp 3-2. Uh, a frustrating one there. Slider that never fully breaks into the zone, but the Cubs get the call. O'Neal goes down looking. Low one away. So first two batters retired via strikeout. Gorman to keep it alive. A bouncer right over home plate. And the Cardinals struggle again. 
They do put up three, but they blow a hold and they get the loss. So four is really the magic number for the Cubs. They hit four in all three games and it leads them to a three game sweep of the Cardinals. Four hits for each team, so not a lot to be happy about hit-wise. Donovan had two for the Cardinals. Flaherty, two hits, two runs over six and a third innings. Six Ks, not bad at all. The Cubs, Hap, the biggest hit of any of the hits they had. Mancini had two, so again, one player with two, two other players with one. Alzale coming in, doing good. Bullpen, doing good. No, no hits allowed. 7Ks for Hayden. Cubs get the sweep. Cardinals losers of four in a row now. Looking at some action. Toronto and Philly. Philly, 4-0 winners. Only three hits for Toronto. I see Bobachet had all three. Kevin, not terrible. Two earned runs over five in the third. Seven hits, 7Ks. Just no runs for Philly. Ten hits. Reese. Schwarbs, both with two. Harrison with three. Wheeler, absolutely dominant. Complete game shutout, eight Ks, three hits. If it wasn't for Bo Bichette, we might have saw something special there. And Tampa, losers and extras to the Yankees. See Ramirez with three hits, pacing the Rays. Uh, Yanni. Bad outing. It's going to get the loss. Springs didn't pitch bad. One run over seven innings. Not bad at all. Judge with two hits. Glaber with three. DJ driving in two on his only hit of the game. Nestor also not bad. One run allowed over six innings. So both starters pitched well. Became a bullpen game. Schmidt struggled, but his team gets the win. Now, St. Louis continues their road trip facing the Red Sox at Fenway.